We're gonna do something a little different in this video. I have listed my top 10 favorite movies of all time. You tell me out of the top 10, which one of these 10 movies is in my top five? Yes, sir. So yes, you're gonna sir. narrow down my top 10 list to my top five. If you get it right. Stop talking to me like I'm a motherfucking child, first off. I'm explaining it to them because they're coming in. You're blind. looking straight at I me. I know, but Look I just. I don't, I, well, you I'm heard, looking at them. You heard what I said. Then that's what we're doing. Let me start by saying I am so excited to hear your top 10 list because I think you've only seen probably like 20, 30, 40 movies in your life. Okay, well, so I... <laughs> according to my Letterboxd app, which I've been going through and, and rating movies I've seen throughout my whole life, I got 500 movies on there that oh, okay. I recall seeing. That's a lot. That's not that many movies. It's not a lot. In hindsight. Yeah, it's not. But uh, I love lists. I love rankings, so I cannot wait to hear how he ranks his movies. I feel like he's going to try and throw me off. I don't think it's going to be a legitimate top five. He's probably. I'm probably going to guess every single one right. He's probably going to be like, oh, no, none of those are right, even though I know I'm going to get at least fucking three or five. Three or five. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna name. I'm gonna try not. Is this a try not to laugh challenge with this stupid fucking? I list? expect like you 100 percent to shit all over this go. list. I do expect oh. you to shit all over all this right. list. There's guess. a lot of great movies out there. If you don't agree with my list, keep in mind there, uh, movies like The Godfather. I've never seen. I haven't seen a lot of you know classic you know Jesus Christ. great movies that people consider good. But I have seen you know movies that I, I've watched. I guess that makes sense. You're gonna have like the Jesus of Nazareth on here, or like Passion of the Christ. No, no, no. This is a legit list. I went into oh, yeah. my Letterboxd app and I, I went to all my five star rated movies okay. and I picked out the top ten that I fucking love. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try not to laugh, okay? Okay. Let's do this. I think you'll find this somewhat respectable. There's gonna be a couple on here that you might Let's laugh at. Let's go, dude. Shut up. Then no particular order. Mm hmm Interstellar, The Wolf of Wall Street, A Clockwork Orange, Donnie Darko, The Florida Project, The Witch, Boys in the Hood, Blow, Riding in Cars with Boys, and This Boy's Life. Jesus Christ. A lot of boy stuff going in there, which I'm realizing now. It says boys a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, guess what? It's actually not a bad list. Yeah. This is pretty good. All right, so I need to think of the top five So out of these movies, Interstellar, Wolf of Wall Street, Clockwork Orange, Donnie Darko, Florida Project, The Witch, Boys in the Hood, Blow, Riding Cars with Boys, and the, This Boy's Life, which one of those five movies is in my top five? Uh, Clockwork Orange. Correct. Yes. Okay. The Wolf of Wall Street. Not correct. Oh, What? Gosh, damn, I thought we shared that. Top of five. I mean, it's in my top ten, not top five. Oh, fuck. Ryan and Carl Boys. Incorrect. Whoa, fuck. Okay. You have two more guesses. I have two more? Yeah. Blow. Correct. Whirly. Okay, okay. Clockwork Orange, Blow. Dying Darko, This Boy's Life. Uh, Interstellar. One more Which, guess. Florida Project. You really like the Florida Project. That ain't no way you already got that in your top five, though. The Florida Project. No. Oh! Okay, so I'll, I'll name my top five. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got you got two out of five. Yeah, that's not bad. Which is not... It is bad. Yes, we're best friends, but this guy hasn't been the biggest movie guy up until these like, this last year or so. Yeah. So, I've definitely that's an impressive top ten list. So, we never really had that much of a movie conversation. We've talked more about music, probably, than we have movies. Okay, so I'll, I'll name my top five favorite movies of all time that I've seen. Again, there's a lot of movies I haven't seen. Number five, This Boy's Life. This Boy's Life is a fantastic movie. It hits a little too close to home for me. I feel like I live that boy's life. Yeah. But <laughs> that's why that's why I, I like Justin so much when I first met him, because I was like, dude, you remind me of little Jackie uh <laughs> what's the name? Tobias Wolf. Little Jackie Wolf. Come on. That's uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's breakout role. He was fucking incredible at 18, 17, 16 years old, wherever yeah. he was. Amazing. Going toe to toe with Robert De Niro, who many people consider to be the best actor. I feel sorry for his kids the most in that movie because they're stuck with them and they kind of, you don't get like a, a, after the movie's over, they have like this thing, what happens to Leo DiCaprio's character and Ellen Barkin's character. We have no idea what happened to his fucking kids. Yeah, they probably just grew up to be normal people because a lot of people's dads are fucking yeah, miserable, especially back in that gets... day. Hey, my number four, Boys in the Hood. Oh, I forgot that was on the list. Yeah. Okay, I would have said that. got that. I know. I know. Yeah, Boys in the Hood is a fucking 90s classic. One of the greats. Directed by a 19-year-old John Singleton, which is so fucking impressive. Really? That 19? Ni yeah, 19 years old or 20, one of the two. And this is a movie. It, and it was his best movie. You know, he has some good movies going forward. But uh, Ice Cube, who knew that he could fucking act at the time? It's another powerful Ricky! movie. Ricky! Yeah. Ricky! If you look at my list, you notice that a lot of these in my top 10 are very powerful movies. Movies that make you feel. Yeah, and that should be... Like, yeah, your emotional reaction to a movie should be it's gonna be your list it's all subjective so yes absolutely number three interstellar 
Oh, really? Holy shit. So you I like that better than Inception, The Dark Knight. Oh, yeah. I love it. You haven't seen The Prestige yet, which... I will watch it. Me and Jen watch Interstellar at least once a month. Like, legitimately, long movie, watch the whole thing through. It's so fucking good, dude. Would you leave knowing that you're never going to see your kid again to save your kid? It's just so weird, you know? That movie came out right around the time my daughter was born. I think it was be right before she was born, actually. So that movie was kind of underwhelming when I first saw it. But watching it since, especially having a daughter, how do you not like just break down with that father and daughter relationship in there and then the movie oh my gosh spoilers is he gets back to her but she's fucking 292 years old you know it's uh huh? she's up there she's like 90 <laughs> she's sure, like on whatever. her deathbed she's not yeah <laughs> so it's still heartbreaking but bittersweet too because he got he did get back to her and he saved the fucking uh planet earth Matt mcconaughey man fucking underrated dude, actor. So he's good, capable dude. of a lot of shit yeah number two mm -hmm. clockwork orange Yes. Yeah. Love that fucking movie. Fucking... We are not there yet to review that movie, but when we get there... I can't there, wait. I can't wait. Yes, that movie is fucking excellent. I, even as a... Fuck, how old were you when you first saw it? I was like 11. You're, yeah, I, I was, was the real, same age, I was probably. too young to watch it, yeah. honestly. And, and some of the scenes in there with the... T I mean, I think Clockwork Orange was probably the first movie where I've ever seen uh, female breasts. Well, you were a sheltered little boy. Well, I mean, I've seen them. Old is when well, I've first seen saw female listen, breasts. No, no, no. <laughs> that came out. Wrong. I've seen them in like Playboys and shit, like in a movie. Like the first time uh, I watched a movie that had fucking. It was tits funny. In it. This is kind of off topic. But there was this movie called Monster in the Closet, nineteen eighties, seventies movie, and it was rated PG. So I rented it, took it home, watched it, and it had boobs in it. PG thirteen or no PG rated PG. Was it breastfeeding or something? No, she was taking a shower. Oh, hygiene's important. Yeah, but Clockwork Orange. Oh, my, Malcolm McDowell will live on forever in infamy. I remember being younger, Ricky, and thinking they need to remake this movie. But now, like, no, no. You cannot re... Not uh, only should you not remake I would, that movie, no, you, know you can't remake that I'm movie I'm not the now. guy that says don't remake movies. I would love to Jude see Law. another fucking uh, interpretation yes. of the Clockwork Orange. And guess what? If it's bad, then I just don't worry about it. You yeah, know? I, I'm but with, I would like I'm to see it there. again. It's a movie that kind of sneaks up on it for how powerful it is, because it's fucking touching on a lot of things. And you don't, and subjects. I didn't, and I didn't realize it until like my fourth or fifth watch. That's when I really started being like, you know what? There's a lot more to this movie than I fucking oh, thought. It's still, like, there, you'll never get everything in that movie. You have to watch it, watch it, watch it. And they somehow, and I might, I don't, hopefully I'm not like some crazy psychopathic person, but they somehow make you feel sympathy for Alex DeLarge towards the middle of the movie. Sure. Like, and this guy is an awful human being. And he's going to wind up being an awful human being as well. Oh, he's fucked, no doubt yeah. about it. <laughs> My number one movie, Justin, do you want to just take a stab at it? What do you think it is? I don't know, I don't remember. Interstellar, Wolf of Wall Street, Clockwork Orange, Dying Darko, Florida Project, The Witch, Boys in the Hood, Blow, Riding Cars with Boys, This Blow. Life. Blow! Johnny Depp, baby! Hashtag justice for Johnny Depp! Yeah, Blow is my all-time favorite movie. There's not amount of times that I'm going to see this movie where I don't enjoy it anymore. I watch this movie at least two or three times every year still, beginning to end. I love it, man. Everything was perfect. And then literally the next couple yeah. scenes is when shit stops being perfect. Yeah, and he says that three or four up. times this movie, man. It's a, it, it is life. Damn, that's And it's good. a great fucking movie. And it's like you're watching a life. You know, they, they do so well with that, where you see his beginnings, middle, and his relationship with his father's fucking touching at, by the end. His, his mother's mother, awful human being. But the relationship between him and his mother is still a very dynamic, yeah. interesting fucking story, dude. Yeah, and because they spent that mind, much time on it. They just have a few scenes together, but it, 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 it hits you. When you have a kid and that father daughter shit, because you're on this, George Jung's side to get better, and you know that he's a good fucking guy. He just wants the best for his fucking daughter. Yeah. Unfortunately, the fucking life is just you're, you're never gonna. It's never gonna work out for you. This movie took a new meaning for me after I had my daughters. Like that ending scene where he's fucking holding his daughter oh. in the jail yard, but she's not really there, man. I do not watch that this without that crying freaky. anymore ever since I had kids. Where he promises her that yeah. he's gonna oh, be yeah. there the next day to take her to wherever the hell they were gonna go, and he. He can't show up because he got arrested because his fucking Dewey. friends back in the day Dewey. fucking Dewey fucked him over. Johnny Depp fucking all time great in that fucking movie, especially the scene where he first gets arrested and he's in the fucking courthouse talking to the judge. Yeah. So, so I so, took a couple plants over an imaginary yeah. line. <laughs> yeah. He gets the Boston accent down fucking. My favorite scene from that movie is where they're doing, the, they're testing out the cocaine. And the oh, guy yeah. like Storcy's like, I can't feel my nose. I can't feel my face. Yeah. Yeah, feel my face. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, fuck it, let's all do one. Fuck it, let's all do one. That's it's a great number one. Not many people will have that as number one, but that is a favorite amongst a lot of fucking people, especially people who've dabbled in drugs like Rookie has with fucking heroin and all that good <laughs> Shut stuff. the fuck I'm up. I'm joking. <laughs> no, but no, that is a classic movie, especially when you see it, your first time seeing it in 2001, I just remember, man, and Giant Depp, 
Before that was one of my favorite actors, and since then he's still one of my favorite actors. And that's the performances he's capable of giving. Usually he plays like the weird guys. My list, what do you think? Is it, is it as I awesome as you list. thought it'd be? No, yeah. I, I thought I was going to laugh throughout the whole fucking thing. <laughs> like I say, like Legally Blonde or something? Yeah. <laughs> well, you did have Riding in car- Cars with Boys. And you know what? But I'm not hating on that, because there's a bunch of mm-hmm. movies that are special to when us. When was the last time you saw Riding in Cars with Boys? I did. I saw it. It's just not my thing. I would. I, I implore you to watch it again. I, it's not my thing. Will you watch it again? It's not will my thing. Will you watch it again? No, that's Melissa will watch it for you. It's not just about. It's not like a chick flick, dude. It's a movie it about is a. a chick di- no, it's a movie I about like chick addiction. It's I have mo- nothing against chick flicks. Ghost mo- is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's a movie about addiction and fucking raising and children and that- doing what's right and and and. Being and there's confused. movies that do better. About addiction, blows one of them. That's fair. Shut up. Hey, if you enjoyed the video and you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, we appreciate you watching. As always, make sure you hit the like button if you liked the video. Only if you liked it. Uh, yeah, and uh, let us know what you guys think about Ricky's list. I was actually surprised. That was a pretty damn good list. Interesting list. Like I said, not many people don't have those in their top five, but they were all great fucking masterpieces in my opinion. Thank you, man. You know the director of Blow? Hey, leave him off with the video. Hold on. Director of Blow uh, uh, died of uh, cocaine. What? Yeah. (laughs) Played basketball. His heart exploded.